Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome back to Contemporary Mama and day four of Clean Week. This has seriously been flying by, but today's video is one that I am the most excited about. Now on my channel, I have shared tons of cleaning hacks before, but I'm putting a little spin on it today. So today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 vintage cleaning hacks from a 1950s housewife. Now these cleaning hacks and tips and tricks are tried and true. They've been used for decades. So I'm gonna be testing a lot of them out today and see how they hold up. So let's jump right on into the hacks. So the first vintage cleaning tip is to make do with less. Now, most 1950s housewives were not working. They were relying on a single income, so they were quite frugal and they had to get creative on ways to save money. So a lot of the times they would snip their sponges in half. This would extend the life of it. And they would also never throw away old stained dish towels. Instead, they would cut them up and use them as dusting or polishing rags. Tip number two and another way that they would save money would be by making their own cleaning products. Now this is a recipe I found for a vintage window cleaner and I am told that it works wonders and it's gonna leave your glass and windows sparkling clean. Now all you need is one cup of water, a little bit of vinegar, rubbing alcohol, and a few drops of lemon oil. So you just mix that up in a spray bottle and let's see how it works. Okay, I am seriously amazed. This window is crystal clear. I cannot even believe how well this works. I'm definitely gonna be using this for all my windows in glass. It really, it, it's amazing. There's no streaks. Now, tip number three I am excited to try, and this is to do your dusting with a damp cloth. Now, I always use a dry rag and a polishing spray, but I'm excited to see if it makes a difference in my dusting when I use a damp cloth instead. And housewives in the 50s would also add a few drops of lavender essential oil to add a pleasant scent to the room. with dusting with the damp cloth but it certainly was easy I didn't need to grab any furniture polish or Swiffer dusters so cheaper just as easy and pretty much works just as good so I'm gonna call this one a win tip number four is to use lemons in your cleaning now lemon juice will sanitize and remove odors from your wooden spoons and your wooden cutting boards you can also use a lemon to clean your stainless steel sink just sprinkle a little bit of salt on it and use that to scrub out your sink and it's going to be sparkling clean in no time. This is also a great hack because everything is all natural. So my sink is definitely clean. I don't know if it's any cleaner than if I scrubbed it with soap, but it definitely smells so fresh. This is a great way to deodorize your sink as well. So yeah, I think if I'm gonna be using lemons for any cooking, then I'll probably just use one to scrub out my sink too. Tip number five, I can't wait to test out because this is a tip to get your glasses sparkling clean straight out of your dishwasher. Now all you need is a splash of ammonia. Add this into your dishwasher and your glass dishes are gonna shine like they're brand new.
Tip number six, I'm gonna share with you how housewives in the 1950s got rid of stains. Now back then, they didn't have all the fancy stain removers that we did today. Instead, they had to get creative with their own. So I'm not gonna test these out, but I will share them with you here on the screen. Now, if you have a blood stain, you wanna make sure that you soak that in cold, salty water. If you have a mildew stain, instead, soak it in cold buttermilk. And if you happen to come upon an ink stain, you wanna soak that in lemon juice and cream of tartar. So there are three easy DIY stain removers that are all natural that you can use to remove stains from your clothes so that they don't end up in the trash can. For tip number seven, I'm gonna share with you how you can polish your stainless steel appliances. All you need to do is get a little bit of olive oil and a few drops of lemon essential oils. That's all you need to give your stainless steel appliances a beautiful shine. So this worked so good. My fridge is so nice and shiny and it didn't leave any streaks. It's not really good for cleaning. This is definitely more for polishing because I had a few little like stuck on things that it didn't remove. But if I clean it first and use the olive oil and lemon oil to polish, it worked amazing. I'm so excited. Number eight is an easy vintage tip on how housewives clean their toilets. All you need to do is sprinkle a little bit of borax over the toilet water and then spray on some white vinegar. And that's it. Just don't touch it, leave it be overnight, and in the morning just flush your toilet and it's gonna be sparkling clean with no scrubbing required. It's the next morning, I flushed the toilet and it seems like it's pretty clean. This was a very easy, no scrubbing way to get my toilet clean, so I think I'll definitely be trying this again. The ninth tip is to use baking soda to deodorize. Oftentimes, housewives would use plain old baking soda to sprinkle over their carpets before they vacuum. This is gonna deodorize the entire room and it couldn't be easier or cheaper. And my last tip, tip number 10, is how housewives got stuck on food removed from their dishes. Now soaking can take a long time and they didn't like having dirty kitchens and dishes soaking in the sink. So instead of soaking, they would steam clean their dishes. All you need to do is take a pot of water, put it on the stove and let it boil. Then you can place your dirty stuck on food plate over that pot of boiling water and let it steam there for a few minutes. The food is going to loosen and you'll be able to scrub it clean with very little effort. Okay, this worked so well. That was stuck on food from dinner last night and I just wiped it away with a sponge and it came off like it was nothing. This is such a great alternative to soaking your dishes because I only let this sit over the pot of water for maybe two or three minutes. All right, so that is gonna be the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed hearing these 10 vintage cleaning tips and let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments. And if you try any of them out, make sure you let me know how it worked out for you. 
So if you enjoyed this video, I have a 1950s housewife mini series that I'm going to be linking down in the description box so you can get tons more retro fun in that. And I also have a day in the life of a 1950s housewife coming up very soon on my channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. It is going to be a super fun video to film. I cannot wait. So tomorrow is the last day of clean week. I'm going to be wrapping it up with a very special video that goes live tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to see you then.